Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Today we are starting uh, our course on uh, O-level mathematics. And this uh, for this uh, O-level mathematics, uh, I have uh, choose this book, which is highly recommended by all experts. And this book is also CIE endorsed for full syllabus coverage. There are 42 chapters in this book and uh, we will uh, cover a number of lecture, video lecture series uh, on methodronics uh, for uh, number of students for their benefits. So today we are starting for, uh, for chapter number one. Uh, here we have some uh, review topics. Uh, such as uh, integers, natural numbers, rational numbers, and irrational numbers. The students of, uh, usually <coughs> intermingle these kind of nomenclatures. So this is important for them to uh, review these things because uh, O-level may ask very ordinary level questions to a very expert level question. So we should start from very basic to the very advanced level. So the integers, first of integers are the positive and negative whole numbers. So it covers every number that is in a complete number. The whole number is an integer number, whether it's a negative or a positive or even a zero. So these are integers. For a natural number, the number that can be used for counting. So anything that can be count is a number. So zero is not a countable number. So it is not a natural number. So natural number is started from positive one to uh, onward. Uh, so the rational number, a rational number is a number that can be written as a, as a fraction a upon b, where a and b are the integers and b is not equal to zero. If b is equal to zero, then a divided by zero becomes infinity. So the rational numbers, so this is a condition that the denominator should not be a zero. And the rational number includes all integers. Any number that is integer is a rational number. All terminating decimals, for example, 5.81 can be written as a 581 divided by 100 is a rational number. Rational number is a fractional number is also a fractional number and all recurring decimals for example 0 0.6 is equal to 0 0.6666 can be written as a 2 upon 3 so this is also a rational number 2 upon 3 because it can be written as a fractional we can write it as a fractional some of the numbers which cannot be write as a fractional is a irrational number for example this pi it never ends so such as under root 2, this is under root 2, square root 2, which is uh, not uh, available. This is a square root. So, this gives give decimals that do not terminate or reoccurs. So, let's see, start the exercise 1.1. Uh, uh, state which of these numbers are integers and natural numbers. Minus 7.627 square root 8, 15340. 4 upon 5 and minus 12. So we can see that minus 7 is available here. So it is a integer. So the natural numbers 27 is a natural number and given this number. So this is uh, integers. This is the first part and the B part is the natural numbers. So Natural numbers is a 27. 27 is a natural numbers. So given this minus 7.5 uh, 27 under root 8 1 5 3 4 0 4 upon 5 and minus 12 and we have to find the uh, rational or irrational numbers. Which of these numbers are rational? Show you how do you decide. So this uh, 17 by 20 can be written as a a upon b form. So this is rational. So 4.6 it can be written as a 4, uh, 46 divided by 100. So it's a rational number. 2 divided by under root 5, 25. It cannot be uh, write down in this form. So it is under root divided by 5. So the under root is not a whole numbers form. So 
so this is irrational so 5 pi is irrational 3.1416 this is also a pi which is irrational so minus 0 0.24 2, 3, 4 is terminated so the anything that can be terminated terminating decimals so it is rational so this r divided by 25 is uh, this is 4 divided by 25 so this is 4 is 2 and 25 is 5 so 2 upon 5 this is 2 upon 5 so it is rational 2 to 5 is uh, it is 15 15 the under root of this 22 5 225 is uh, 15 so it's a rational so this is uh, again under root 3 under root 3 and then two. So it is irrational. So these uh, things we can say by these definitions we can apply on these numbers to uh, find out whether the number is integer, natural or irrational or irrational. So check for uh, rational number. State which of these numbers are rational. Show how you decide. So under root uh, 169 which is equals to uh, 13 so it's rational 0.45 so it can be written as a 49 divided by 100 so it's rational 5 plus under root 3 this under root 3 cannot be write down in a fractional form so it's a irrational so minus 2.7 here it is terminating so it can be write down in fractional so it's a rational this pi cannot be write down in a fractional form so it's a irrational 4 pi by, by 3 this pi by cancel with each other so 4 upon 3 the rest rational under root square square root 2 27 is rational uh, 7 117 uh, by 9 the so 9 1 the 9 and then 16 divided by 9 can be written as a 4 divided by 3 so it's a right rational so this minus 6 under root 2 is irrational so this it can be written as a fractional form uh, we should uh, keep in our mind that this is 4 divided by 3 this part is becomes this so it is rational so this is one of the decisions so, so we can uh, understand the what was the logic so we have discussed it here write down an irrational number between each pair of numbers the irrational number between each pair 3 and 4 so this is irrational number we know that pi exists between 3 and 4 uh, 10 and 11 this is under 120 and uh, here we can say that uh, some numbers exist there and uh, uh, between this 10 and 11 this 120 uh, is irrational 19 and 20 389 under root 389 so irrational we take this value and it will never end cannot be right on in a fractional or in a whole number so it's irrational the prime number is a number with only two factors prime number this is the definition of a prime number is a number which with only two factors is a fact is a number with only two factors the factor of seven are one and seven so seven is a prime number so prime number uh, so write down all of these uh, all of the factors of each of these numbers so we have to write down this is 8 it can be written down as a 2 into 2 into 2 so this is all prime so 2 this 15 15 there is a 3 and 5 and for 27 we have 3 into 3 into 3 for uh, 18 i think it's 18 so uh, no, no i think it's 54 54 54 can be written down as a 2 into 3 into 3 into 3 this is 27 into 2 is 54 write down the first 10 prime numbers 2 3 5 7 9 cannot be written down because 9 is a factor of 3 into 3 so this is again uh, 9 is escaped here uh, 3 13 and then 15 11 is there 13 15 is missing because 3 is a, there is a three fact, uh, 2 factor 3 and uh, 5 so it's that skipped 17 19 uh, 21 is also a factor of uh, 3 and 7 so it's also skipped here missed here 27 
25 is a factor of 5 into 5, so it's skipped here. 27 is 3 into 9, or 3 into 3 into 3, so it's skipped here. 29, yeah, it cannot be further being break down. 31, 31 is uh, only, only multiply with 1 or by its own number, so it's a prime number. So that's why we have write down uh, prime numbers. Uh, I think we have write down 11, which was asked only 10. So uh, write down the prime factor of each of these numbers. This 12, 12 can be write down as 2 into 2 into 3. This is 4 into 3, so 12. So 2 is square into 3, 20 is equal to 20, 2 into 2 into 4. 4 into 10, uh, 5, uh, which is 20, so 2 square 5, as the prime factors are, the yeah, prime factors of 12 is 2 and 3. For Similarly, for 20, we have seen that the prime factor is 2 and 5. For 55, similarly, 5 and 11, the prime factor is 5 and 11. So, 84, we can break down and we can see there, here is a 2, 3 and 7, so the prime factor express such as a number as a product of prime factors so 48 can be write down as 2 into 4 into 3 72 can be write down as this. these are the factors we have write down so so we can say this 2 and 3 the prime factor they are 3 2 or 2s and 2 3s so uh, 2 210 is 2 3 and 5 7 so all power 1 350 can be write down as 2 into 5 square into 7 similarly for 75 and 25 and such and so on express number as a product of its prime factors so this 45 495 we can write down as this 260 for 1960 we can write down like this okay here we have done some uh, rough work so it's only always start from the very lowest number and then increase if it does not divide so similarly here is it this cannot be further divided 3 cannot divide this 4 cannot so so we start with the 5 and similarly for the next numbers so write each of these the square numbers as the product of its prime factors so we have write down here 25 is 5 by square 36 2 into 3 is Square, square 10 2 in square into 5 square for 144 2 power 4 into 3 power 2 so similarly for the uh, write down 96 as a product of its prime factors so 96 as a prime factor as written as 2 power 5 into 3 uh, find the smallest positive integers k such that 90, 96k is a, a square number so we have to make this a square so we write down this prime factors to power 5 as earlier uh, calculated or uh, into k so we need to have uh, one pair of 2 1 2 and 1 3 so then then it becomes even power so this 2 power 5 3 so we can add 1 2 and 1 3 in place of k so this is 2 and 3 so it becomes 2 power 6 and uh, 3 power 2 so we have increased 1 uh, 2 and 1 3 so this k is equals to 2 into 3 which is 6 so if we multiply this 96 with um, if we multiply this 96 with 6 then it becomes a Squared number. Uh, 392 is as a product of the prime factors. So write down this 392 as a product of its prime factors. So we have uh, draw the prime factors like this, and the smallest positive integer such that 392 k is a cube number. So we have to make a cube for this uh, 392 k. So 392k we have uh, break down by taking uh, divisions 
repeated division with this we have obtained these numbers so in, in place of uh, k we have to write down 1 7 so this becomes 7 power 3 this 2 power 3 7 power 3 then becomes uh, 14 power 3 so this uh, in place of k we have write down this 7 so k 7 is a smallest positive integer that makes this 392 as a uh, prime factors product of its prime factors which becomes q such that 392 k becomes a q number this is q number if you multiply this 392 with a 7 then it becomes a very large number and this becomes a square uh, cube of 14 so we'll start the exercise uh, 1.3 for each pair of numbers express each number as a product of its prime factors uh, 18 and 24 for 18 numbers and 24 we have write down these numbers and for 2018 this is this 24 for 2 power 3 into 3 uh, we can see here from this uh, two, but we have 1 2 in each this one and here so this common 2 is 2 and for both uh, first pair and second pair we see that the smallest value power of 3 is 1 in the second uh, 20 in the in the 24 numbers so so this uh, from this we can conclude we can uh, take one two commons from here and one three from here so this is the highest factor that is common the six is the highest common factor which is available in 18 and 24 if we increase 18 we can uh, 8 we can we can see that it is not a factor we cannot divide 18 with the 8 however we can divide the 24 with the 8 similarly for 12 no it's not possible to divide 18 with the 12 so we can see that the highest common factor is 18 and similarly for the LCM uh, we take this the highest numbers from here and from the highest number from the second one so this is 2 power 3 so this is 2 power 3 and this is 3 power 2 so this is the LC so we'll take the uh, minimum uh, power from both uh, upper uh, for both pair of numbers to find out the HCF and we take the highest common factors from both of the numbers to get the lowest common multiple so this is lowest common multiple this is LCM so for similarly for this part B 6400 uh, we take out the pairs of uh, 64 this is 2 power 6 and this is 100 is 2 power 2 into 5 power 2 so this uh, 2 power 2 is common in both of these so this is the highest common factor similarly for LCM this is 2 power 6 and this is 5 power 2 this is the LCM 2 power 6 and 5 power 2 this is LCM similarly for this 350 and 50 50 this is 2 power uh, 2 into 5 power 2 and for 350 we have 2 into 5 power 2 into 7 so we have common 2 into 5 power 2 so this is no here we can see that HCF is uh, 2 into 5 power 2 in both so this is 25 and into 2 is 50 and uh, for LCM we can see this is uh, 2 into 5 power 2 into 7 so this is LCM similarly for 72 and 126 2 power 3 and 3 power 2 72 is a breakdown in the prime factor like this and 126 as 2 into 3 power 2 into 7 so we can see that 1 2 and 3 power 2 is a uh, highest common factor so 2 into 3 power 2 which is 18 so this is the HCF similarly for LCM we have 2 power 3 and 3 powers 2 and 1 7 
so this is 504 uh, similarly for uh, parts 3 hcf and lcm for which we are expressed the highest common factor this is the highest common factor similarly this is the same technique applies here similarly for the lcms 340 and 425 here this hcf by using these values by these factors and that's it. So, so this is very easy 756 and 2100 so these factors are 756 we have taken out this and this so we have write down these factors this is the rough work and hcf and lcm so we for this one Highest, find the highest common factor of each pair of numbers so the the highest numbers so we have to find out this number so 216 and this similarly for this lcm and lcm yes. uh, find the highest common factor for 45 60 and 75 and we have three pair of numbers so this 40, 45 60 and 75 so 3 power 2 5 2 power 2 3 into 5 3 into 5 power 2 so we can see that 3 is exist everywhere 5 1 5 is exist everywhere so this is 3 into 5 so this is the highest common factor among these all three numbers so, uh, for find the lowest common multiples for the lowest common multiple this is we take out uh, uh, the uh, so this is can be said that the highest common factor will take the intersection and in a uh, um, LCM we take the unions so uh, again the common uh, LCM so this is uh, uh, 2 power 2 uh, 3 power 2 and 1 5 uh, uh, or sorry uh, 5 power 2 because this is the highest one so 2 power 2 3 power 2 and 5 power 2 so this becomes 900 uh, uh, one of the problem is the rectangle measures this um, mm by 204 this is the dimension of a rectangle this is the length and one of the width so it is split into an identical squares uh, a number of squares have been created by this by the division by making some grids in it find the largest possible side length for the squares so this is the highest common factor which will be the uh, possible uh, side length of the square this is a practical application of a highest common factor so this this uh, type of questions are usually asked in the final exams so this is the rectangle so uh, we have uh, to find the factors prime factors of this 240 and 204 so we have obtained this so we have to find the common highest common factor which will be the the possible side length of the square so this is 12 you can uh, do this exercise in other demonstrations in your home so the so have a better understanding of this problem this kind of questions are usually asked in o level exams so there is nothing written here that this is HCF, but this is uh, there in the uh, hidden form. So the understanding uh, is important. Uh, similarly for this uh, question number seven, there are two lighthouses near a port. The two lighthouses are near the port. The light in the first lighthouse flashes every 22 seconds. The one light blinks. Uh, with the with the period of uh, 22 seconds uh, initially starts at um, t is equal to 0 and then it becomes 44 and then uh, 66 and then 88 similarly the light in the second lighthouse flashes every 16 seconds uh, at suppose that t is equal to 0 it flash once at t is equal to 16 it will flash second 32 and then then multiples of 16s will be there so so light flashes the first light flashes in a multiple of 22 and the second light flashes as a multiple of 16 so 16 2 times 16 3 times 16 and so on so all the common multiples both light will flash together at common multiple the both light will flash together at sometimes 
suppose 22, 42, uh, at some number, the first number where the both numbers divides that number will be the LCM. So, that is LCM that has been asked in these questions. So, so the, this is basically the LCM. The first common multiple where both numbers divides that, that will be the part of these multiples that will be there. So, so we will take out the LCMs of this. So, and we will show that how it will work. This is 22 and, and 16. So, this 22, the prime factor is 2 uh, into 11 and then 16 is 2 into 8. So, the LCM is 176. So, both light will flash together at uh, 10 hours, 2 minutes and 54 because it was first flash at uh, 10 p.m. So, it will flash after 170. 136 seconds means 2 minutes and 54 2 minutes and 54 at this time this both light will flash together after 10 p.m. Okay. So this is the answer this kind of questions are asked in final examinations Similarly, for this question number 18, uh, eight bus, uh, eight number question. Buses to the Shenley leave the bus station every 40 minutes. Buses to the Menlay leaves every 15 minutes. These are two stations. The first station leaves the bus at every 40 minutes. Second station, the bus leaves at every 50 minutes. This is the frequency of bus leaving from the bus stations at 8:15 a.m. Buses to the both Shenley and Wenley leave the bus station. When is the next time that that buses to both places leave at the same time simultaneously? Suppose the first bus leaves at t is equal to zero. Buses the bus uh, to Shenley at t is equal to zero and bus to Wenley at t is equal to zero. So we have to find that the time that at time what time t this both bus, bus will be uh, live together so that will be the that is the problem of lcm lowest common multiple that multiple uh, the second bus will live at 80 third bus lives at 120 minutes fourth bus lives at 160 minutes similarly for this second bus lives at 30 minutes 15 minutes then 30 minutes, then 45 minutes, 60 minutes, 75 minutes, 90 minutes. So similarly, at at one time, that the common multiple will reach. So this common multiple is 120. So we can see this in a demonstration. At t is equal to zero, both buses leaves at Shenley and Wenle. Uh, Shenley and Wenle. So at t is equal to 0, at t 40 minutes, the second bus will leave, 15 minutes, uh, the other bus will leave 40 minutes, this sequence will leave 120 minutes, and this bus will leave it. And this is the first time where both bus will leave together. And there is no other uh, area between 0 to this number where the bus leaves together. So this is the demonstration. This is the, the the objective. This is the learning about the LCM. So one has to learn these things very efficiently because this the purpose of LCM and SCF should be very clear. So this is the basic problem in our education system that we don't understand what we are learning. So. Uh, chapter 2 uh, is about uh, Venn diagram and we will discuss in the uh, next uh, 